45 years, zero name changes, new offices, more staff, improved technology to better serve you. Education, services, investments, think real estate, think Marshall Reddit, brokerage, property management, private lending, creating financial independence through real estate since 1979. All right. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Uh, we know everybody on this call is, is very, very busy and your time is very valuable. As we appreciate you being with us here this evening. Uh, we're going to go over a lot of information. Um, and after this seminar, uh, we will be sending everybody a copy of the recording. Um, and you'll get all of our contact information as well. So don't feel like you have to take notes tonight. You are, of course, more than welcome to. But we're going to be following up with, with everything that we spoke about this evening. All right. So a little bit about Marshall Reddick Real Estate. Uh, so Marshall Reddick is very much a one-stop shop for real estate investing. And we have a number of different facets in which our investors can invest in real estate, right? So first and foremost, we are a real estate brokerage. And in any given year, we buy, sell, or 1031 exchange, about 800 properties. Uh, we are also a property manager. So we currently manage just under 3,000 properties across our portfolio, and that is steadily growing. We want to make sure that we're not growing too fast. Uh, but, you know, a quick Google search of us, you can see all of our reviews from hundreds and hundreds of landlords. And you can get an idea of the, the kind of service that we provide. Uh, we are also a private money lender, and that comes in a couple facets. So first and foremost, uh, professional fix and flippers, rehabbers, uh, builders, they will come to us um, looking for capital for their projects. We have an entire team that underwrites those loans. And if the loans make sense, we provide capital to them. We also help our investors fund mortgages. So one way that you can invest in real estate is by providing your capital to real estate professionals and earning interest on that. So we have a, a mortgage marketplace uh, to help you do that as well. And then we also have a private investment fund. Um, so this is where our investors pool their money together. And then we have a team that then invests that money in first lien holder position mortgages. Um, all of these different assets behave differently. They return differently at different velocities, different speeds, different rates, things of that nature. And there really is no one right or wrong investment. Um, because they all behave differently. What we do here as advisors, which is what I am, um, we help align you with the investments that are gonna help you accomplish your specific goals. So this is what we're gonna be going over this evening, right? We're gonna talk about why we believe Nashville is an undervalued market. We're gonna be looking at surrounding suburbs. We're gonna go over our team and, and accomplishments that we've had in the market. We're gonna do a little introduction to everybody on the call so that you can you know, get to know us and, and learn who you're gonna be working with. And we're gonna go over property management and then we're gonna look at some example investments and performance. And this is what uh, we hope that you can expect to learn today as an attendee, right? Um, again, this says take notes. I don't think that you have to, we'll leave that to you, but expect to learn a lot. We have a lot to go over this evening. Um, and again, we're gonna send everybody this recording after the call um, because it is a lot of information. If anybody has questions, please let us know in the chat. We can have a Q&A session at the end of this if there are any questions, and we'd be more than happy to address a, each uh, individual question and concern that you guys have, right? Um, after this call, we're going to be following up with everybody. Um, any questions that you have after the call, we're going to take that opportunity to answer them for you, uh, but we're also going to be calling to get to know you and, and get to know your investment strategy and what your goals are, right? And again, this is going to be recorded. So you guys are going to get this in your email soon. This is a look at our national footprint. So Marshall Reddick has been around since 1979. And we have agents and, and partners and vendors in all 50 states here in the country. But these are the areas where we have an actual physical footprint. So these are offices full of realtors, full of property management professionals, maintenance professionals, things of that nature. So this is where you will find us managing property. This is where we have a real focus on investing in property as well. And we're going to get into why these markets make sense for that. And so we just wanted you guys to have a look at what our national footprint looks like. So cool. Uh, nice to meet you, everybody. My name is Tyler. And I just wanted to 
give you guys an opportunity to know me a little better. Now, some of you on the call, we've been working together for years. Um, I see some familiar names uh, in the bar and also a bunch of newcomers. So a little bit about me. Um, I've been in real estate since 2017. Uh, I was born and raised in New York, and I went to Clarkson for financial information and, and portfolio management. Um, my goal was to go to Wall Street. Uh, graduating in 2008, um, unfortunately, the entire sector had collapsed and had collapsed because of finance. Uh, and, and Wall Street wasn't really providing uh, great employment options for a guy with no experience straight out of college. Um, came out to California and got into investment real estate and, and haven't looked back. Um, recently finished the negotiation mastery program at Harvard as well. A little bit about my business. I've got about 80 investment transactions under my belt right now for about 70 million in volume. And I've closed those deals over 13 states. Um, I present this information um, in no way to be boastful. I want everyone on the call to know that when you're working with Marshall Reddick, you're working with professionals. Real estate is not a side job for us. It is not a hobby. This is what we do professionally day in and day out. And so we just think that it's very important um, that you guys know that, right? I have over 200 five-star reviews from all different types of clients, um, from buyers to sellers to 1031 exchange investors, to landlords, um, things of that nature. Um, and I was recently featured on the Icons Real Estate Podcast. And on a more personal level, uh, this is my family. Uh, this is my lady, Divya. Uh, Divya uh, leads clinical trials uh, for um, medical devices in Johnson & Johnson here in Southern California. And these are the kids. Uh, the young man up front, this is Oliver. He's been with us since he was a puppy. And uh, the lady in the back, Lexi, we rescued five days ago. And she's doing really good adapting to the family. But if you guys hear um, any insanity behind me, things breaking, barking, things of that nature, uh, that's exactly where that's coming from. Um, I'm going to take a moment to hand this over uh, to my two best agents that we have out of Nashville joining us this evening uh, so they can talk a little bit about themselves and then I'm going to hop right back in here. Uh, take it away guys. Thank you Tyler. Um, my name is Natasha. I am out here in Clarksville. I've been a licensed realtor since 22. Um, I had the best experience with my realtor back in 2011 when I bought my first house and she made me want to do the same for other people. So I'm here for my people from the beginning to the end, from one transaction to the next. Uh, I just love it. Um, I've been working in customer service for over 10 years. Love working with people, very people oriented. I just, I love meeting new people, building those relationships. I was born in Hilo, Hawaii, uh, moved out here for my husband joining the army and we never went we're not looking back clarksville is has been amazing to us tennessee has been amazing so we're here to stay um i'm a boy mom to three boys so my house is always crazy <laughs> as well um i have two pets as well they're my babies too um that's a little bit about me so now i'm gonna pass it on to tina Hi, my name is Tina Day. Um, I've had my license, like Natasha, since 2022. My home is Clarksville, but I do real estate in Clarksville and in Nashville and its surrounding areas to Nashville. I am also the mom of boys. Well, they're not boys anymore, but I have two sons. Um, and family is very important to me, uh, as Tyler knows, and Natasha. I don't have dogs, but I love cats. <laughs> Um, I actually <laughs> had five at one time, but um, I can't stand to see them get straight and I take them in and get them their shots. And if I can't find them homes, then I keep them myself. Um, I attended Austin P in the Austin um, in the Clarksville area, earning my degree in business management and biz, um, business administration. Um, and I have over 15 years of client relations experience, um, dealt in retail for a few years and also own my own salon for over 15 years. So um, I'm very um, well versed in the Clarksville community and a lot of Nashville. Um, so 
that's all about me. And so I'm gonna hand it back to Tyler. Let's go, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I can totally tell um, that you owned a salon because your hair looks so nice. You know, so <laughs> I used to have really beautiful curly hair until God decided I didn't need it anymore. So that's really cool. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how Marshall Reddick chooses where to invest. Now, over the past few years with rates dropping in COVID and, and all of that, um, you could throw a rock into any market and chances are if you bought something at the right time, you found appreciation. But when we're looking at investments, we have a very conservative approach. And so we're looking at 25 year averages. And, and these are the, the, the key points that we're looking for when we are looking for places to help our investors um, invest their hard-earned money, right? And so we're looking for places with great and large job markets, but also economically diverse job markets. We want to be in markets where there are multiple industries. Um, whenever you're in a market that has very few industries, should there be an industry shift? Um, we're talking lots of lost jobs and, and that really affects tenant base. It affects um, home values when people are losing their homes, all that kind of stuff. Think about GM in Detroit, right? Um, we're looking for places with low vacancy rates, right? AKA high rental demand. We wanna make sure that the markets we're investing in, um, that the rental properties are gonna experience low vacancy. There are two things that hurt your return when you invest in real estate, it's vacancy and maintenance. So we're looking for markets with low vacancy rates. We wanna be in places with housing affordability, right? When you are investing in real estate, um, we have found over decades and decades of doing this, that investing in super high-end luxury real estate, great if you're gonna live in it, right? But when you look at the capital that you're deploying compared to the return that you're receiving, we have found that affordable housing markets um, are the safest and provide the best returns. So that's really important to us. We also wanna be in markets that are landlord friendly. Um, California, not landlord friendly. And I can tell you from owning investment property here um, that it's a challenge, it really is. And so a lot of our clients live in California and they live in other, you know, maybe not the best landlord friendly markets, New York and things of that nature. They're looking to invest out of their markets. And so we really focus on places that are landlord friendly, right? Because you as the investor want to hold control. We look for places with strong education. Good schools are very important when it comes to owning rental property. And the reason for that is we're looking at the type of tenants that are moving in, right? When tenants are moving to an area for good schools, which is why we invest in areas with good schools, um, chances are they're taking better care of the property and they're staying longer. They don't want to leave. They don't want to be, you know, uh, deferring maintenance and, and struggling with their landlord because they're trying to stay within a school district that their child is in. They also tend to stay longer because they're trying to keep that child in that school district. So that's very important. And you also wanna be somewhere with reliable property management, right? Um, like I said, I, I recognize a lot of the names on the call today, right? And we have some teachers. Um, I see a doctor, I see a firefighter. Um, you guys uh, have full lives and you have families and you have all your hobbies and everything else you're trying to do. Being a landlord is, is very much a full-time job. Getting a call about a toilet at three in the morning not the most fun thing in the world. And so we really wanna focus on markets where we can provide reliable property management because it's, it's really the key uh, that helps these investments work well and allows you to build and scale your portfolio and ultimately create independent wealth, which is exactly what we're trying to do here. All right, guys, let's dive in and talk a little bit about Nashville. I know that's why everyone's here tonight. Um, and we're again, we're really, really excited to have you here. I'm gonna go back one slide here and I'm gonna hand it over to you guys. Um, and then I'll be joining you all uh, in just a little bit. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tyler. All right, guys. So I just, uh, we pulled up a map here of all the properties currently managed by Marshall Reddick here in Tennessee. Um, these areas that you see here with these purple marks are gonna be the best 
places to invest in capital. Um, so here, I'm, I, I hope you guys can see that. That is the Nashville area. And just here, right down the interstate is Clarksville. Um, these are gonna be the best areas, like I said, in Tennessee. All right, we're gonna get right into some Nashville info here. All righty, there we go. So here we have the Nashville, Tennessee current market update, and it's gonna show you from last year to this year how much it's changed. Can you jump in? There we go. All righty. So from last year, the sales price average was at 757000 and this year is going to be 892000 So the appreciation there um, is already showing itself. Let's see here. Okay, so the amount of closings that there was last year compared to this year, it... Sorry, didn't mean to push that. Um, it just kind of shows you the total inventory that we've had um, has increased as well. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then active inventory also um, increased by, uh, what is that, 34%. So that's a really huge jump. It's a lot more inventory, a lot more new construction, um, just the town is building yep. as well. That's because of the jobs that are coming. Exactly. All right. So here are the areas, the different areas that surround Nashville and the different price points that you're going to see in those areas. Just going to give you guys a second to check that out here. This right here is Laverne. This is going to be right in the middle of the city. Then the more outskirts you get, cheaper. it gets cheaper. Ashton City, so this is on your way a little bit out there. Let's see. Just gonna let them see the different price points. Okay, so this is um, the population right now is a little over 2 million in Nashville. The median age group, because um, Nashville is a fun place, so there's a lot of people that like to um, have fun and go to work and go to work and have fun. Um, that age is um, 34. And then the median income right now that it's showing is 70,000 or right at 70,000. A year. Home ownership rate right now is 66%, and then the median home price is right at 600,000. And then the unemployment rate, it's it's actually down from last year. We did we found um, down to 2.2%, which is very good. A lot of job opportunities out here. Alrighty, so to a little bit about Nashville and rankings. They are ranked number one in economic strength, and that was back in 2021. I mean, that's huge. They're also ranked second hottest job market in the country. Uh, that's huge. That's super huge. And like you've seen, um, the unemployment rate already dropped since last year. So that tells you a lot. Uh, they're ranked number two in the U.S. for the fastest selling homes. Uh, and you can see that on our MLS here, that homes don't last long on the market. Um, we're ranked number six most stable real estate market in the United States, and that was in 22. So that speaks a lot about this area. Yep. So why are so many people moving to Nashville, Tennessee? Um, it's a, like it says, it's the booming economy here. Um, there's a lot of career opportunities. In a range of fields like the healthcare, music, um, um, what else is it? Sports, sports, um, and then the cost of living is low. Uh, there's no personal income tax, uh, like a lot of states, so you don't have to give your money. You can keep a lot of it, and then yeah, uh, Nashville. They they just have so much to do. Um, from like you said, after work hours. There's so many job opportunities. With the no tax, it's just drawing people in that low cost of living. Because I know coming from Hawaii, it, this is half the cost of a gallon of milk. So it tells you that much. So they are expanding the Titan Stadium. 
Um, it's sports be cool. is that sports are huge here. I mean, we have our own hockey team. Yes, hockey team too. Um, the Predators, and then yeah, and you've gone to a few games. Yes, and they're sure. packed. Yes, they are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but I think bringing this new stadium also brings new jobs. Um, it, it's probably going to bring people because of people who need rentals. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And there are some major brands in our area. Some major of the big, employers. major employers, yes, for sure. Amazon, huge out here. Um, Bridgestone Arena, they have a lot of shows um, that people even come to town just to go to the shows, the concerts and things like that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Tyler, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about where to find great. You, actually, you want to go ahead and sure. do this? Yeah. So um, there are some great places, um, areas outside of Nashville where you can find some great investment properties. Hermitage is one. Um, it's close to the airport. Um, there's a bunch of fun things to do around that area, like the lakes. Um, it's very close to the Cumberland River. There's Nashville Shores that's there. That's a lot of fun, being that we don't always, live, yeah, always packed. <laughs> we don't live close to. That's the most fun you're going to probably have in Nashville when it comes to a, a water park and being right there on the lake. Um, and it's affordable single uh, family homes in that area, ranging from well, what it says, four hundred thirty thousand. So that's lower than the median. Yeah. So that's good. Um, and then there's a lot of fishing and canoeing and all that going on. Just family-friendly neighborhoods. Um, you've got your high-ranked schools there. Like you said, just a lot of outdoor stuff. Um, you're going to have those, you're going to attract those type of renters, families, yeah. family-friendly. And so now we're going to get into Century Farms and the Tanger Outlet. Um, there's some new uh, developments. We've actually uploaded a couple of those properties for you to see um, that are bringing some really good cash flows monthly. Um, it's right off of I-24. Um, and like, it, it, what does it say? Strategic location in Nashville and to Murfreesboro. Um, well, yeah. We'll get to show them those properties yes, here right in just a sec. Yeah. All right, so this is just kind of showing them what's around that mm -hmm. area. Uh, the Tanger Outlets, this is kind of a view, an area view of it. Um, it's great. I, I went there. Um, yeah. All right, this is the time we get to show them uh, the new properties here. And so the Madison area. Yeah. So, yeah. so where to find great investment properties um, again. And it's um, Madison. So we already managed one property in Madison and I was surprised at how much it rented for. It was a two bedroom, one and a half bath, wasn't even a thousand square feet. And we got it rented for $17.45. Um, there's a lot of fun things to do in Madison. It's very close to shopping in downtown um, and the drive is not too bad. Um, and it's right off of the interstate, like I-40, I mean, interstate for exit 40. Um, also family friendly. Yeah, family friendly. Um, and let's let's get to it. Let's show them. So this is a new construction area that's coming up. It's called Heritage Creek. Um, it's a new development, and they've got some really nice homes, fairly priced to me. Um, but you know, everybody's pricing, especially for Nashville. Expectations yeah. are different. Um, but here's one that is priced at and you'll go ahead yeah sure so this one is uh, a home in that area that she was talking about the new construction um, and this list price is at 499,000 and you can just kind of see the numbers here and it's going to show you the monthly income um, and that that builder was offering some incentives that we can go over over after if you guys are interested in any of these properties. Um, let's see here. That's another. There's another one in that new neighborhood that we were just talking about. Um, just kind of showing you guys the new construction. 
the style of home that's going to be there, the monthly flow. This one's listed at 482. And then this one is another one that's in that not the new neighborhood, but the Nashville area. Um, this one's rented now for three thousand a month, mm -hmm. and it actually has a tenant already in it. But um, you definitely, if you want it, that same tenant can. They're on a month to month. Um, but I just thought that that was amazing that for that price and that cash flow monthly, um, that four hundred. It's hard to see. Right we don't. We, yeah, yeah, we don't see that that much. Um, and then this one here is one of my favorites. That's the one that's very close to the Tanger outlet. Um, that one too, it's cash flowing off the bat. Um, and it's fairly priced for that area, the 515. And for the square footage and the bedrooms and bathrooms size, yes, that's a good property. And right now we're gonna take it on over to Tyler. Um, Clarksville is so close to Nashville and we kind of wanted to just talk about it really quick with you guys. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. And thanks for the the insights uh, onto Nashville. I know the clients really appreciate it. So, all right, guys, Clarksville uh, is where Marshall Reddick started in Tennessee. Uh, we have an office and work out of Nashville as well now, uh, but Clarksville is, is kind of our home base when it comes to Tennessee. Um, Clarksville has been listed one of the best places to live in the United States a number of times, um, has absolutely incredible school districts. It's within a, uh, a, a nice, easy commute to Nashville. So a lot of um, people have been moving into this area for that reason. And that's what initially attracted us uh, to this market. Uh, Marshall Reddick, uh, we were voted the best Clarksville real estate and property management company two years in a row. Um, we're really, really excited about that. You know, obviously, um, we're going to tell you about all the services that we provide and, you know, how hardworking we are and, and all of that, but it definitely, you know, hits different hearing it from our clients. So we would invite everyone here, um, to feel free to check out our reviews on Zillow and, and Google and Yelp and, um, see what other people are saying about us. But we've been in this area for a long time. And, and Clarksville is a is a really good option outside of Nashville. Now, you'll notice when we were going through the property examples in Nashville, um, price points in the mid fours to mid fives. Um, coming up into Clarksville, uh, price points are a bit lower. And this is advantageous to certain investors based on the capital that they have to deploy, right? And I'm just gonna scroll back here to check out one of these Nashville properties. So when you're looking at a property like this, that's a 515 price point, we use a down payment of 30% when we're doing these numbers. And anyone on this call can go to our website and there's gonna be a, a link at the end of this and, and I'll shoot this to everybody on the call tonight. But you can go and click into these properties and, and play with the calculator and adjust all the numbers to fit you and, and see how the returns will work for you. When you're looking at a price point of 515, assuming 30% down, you're looking at an investment capital of about $165 or 165,000, sorry, right? Uh, and, and generating a monthly income in the 70s. When we go back here to Clarksville, you'll notice the lower price point of 360, the investment capital you need uh, drops quite a bit down to 118. Right, so based on your capital that you have available to deploy, um, Clarksville can be a really awesome option for you. And looking at this, this calculator, again, you can go on the website and build your own pro formas and we invite you to do so. Uh, but running through this, we can see a couple things, right? So uh, a gross rent of, of nearly $2,100 a month. Our calculator does not factor in rental price increases over time. So when you're looking at your, your uh, projected profits and things of that nature, we are assuming that you're never raising rent. Now, we all know this isn't true. And part of our property management service is we are actively raising rents for you every single year, as long as the, the market calls for it. But the way that we like to look at our investments is completely modest. And we like to look at worst case scenario. And we like to plan for worst case scenario. That way, if the investment works for your strategy in the worst case scenario, then anything else after that is a bonus. But again, Marshall Reddick is very 
modest. We are focused on safe, long-term, low-risk net worth growth. We are not a, a get rich um, quick operation, right? So when you're looking at this, we're seeing, you know, $2,100 a month for rents. Now, when you're looking at the interest rate of 525, you're probably thinking to yourself, Tyler, how is that possible? We've all been watching the news. We know where rates are. Um, our preferred lender, and who we're going to dig into that in a little bit here, but our preferred lender has made forward commitments with these builders. And basically the way it works is, you know, we are forward committing uh, that we are going to provide the capital to our investors uh, to purchase these properties. And what our ask and what we've negotiated in with the builder is that the builder is going to credit you, the buyer, uh, $15,000. And that $15,000 buys down that rate. So it doesn't come out of your pocket. It is a builder incentive that we at Marshall Reddick have negotiated with these builders. This is not something available um, outside of this Marshall Reddick circle. Um, but it really allows uh, for your cash flows to be decent year one, right? Looking at this after all your taxes, all of your insurance, all of the management fees, HOA fees, should they exist, um, after all your fixed monthly expenses, your cash flowing year one at almost $200. Um, trying to accomplish that, even in this price point with today's going rates, is impossible. So we're really, really excited to be able to provide these kind of options to our investors. Um, I just opened on escrow on one of these uh, last week with an investor here in Orange County, California. Um, and uh, his was a little bit higher of a price point but with only $125,000 down, um, he's generating a few hundred dollars in cash flow year one. Now, appreciation is really um, the game plan when you're looking at these kind of investments. Uh, based on our numbers, the average investor will hold these properties for about 15 years. The reason for that, um, A, after 15 years, your properties are gonna start experiencing more maintenance needs. And again, the two things that hurt your return maintenance and vacancy, right? Also, markets change. So what is a hot solid market right now may not be the best available opportunity for your capital in 15 or 20 years. So the average investor will hold uh, one of these properties for 15 years and then 1031 exchange that property into a better property in a better market. And so when we're building our performance, we do them on a 15 year assumed hold, if that makes sense. And so when you're looking at these numbers, you see the monthly income after fix, fixed expenses is about 200 a month. And then you see the estimated monthly cash flows down here in a negative. There's that, they, these aren't negative generating cash flow properties. But what this is saying is that whenever you purchase a property, an investment property, in our mindset at Marshall Reddick, you should never have to put another dollar into that property out of your pocket after your initial investment capital needed. And so what we recommend is that every month when you're making these positive cash flows, that you put 5% of that money away for maintenance expenses. They may not happen in the first few years and with new construction, you get home warranty and builder warranty so you won't be affected, but eventually you will. And, and we also recommend putting 8% uh, away for vacancies. And so the idea is that if you do that and you build a little savings account, and you fund that savings account with your positive cash flow, you'll never have to pull another dollar out. But when you're looking at these pro formas, what I want you to have in your head is that the monthly cash flow you should expect year one at 30% down at this price point is about $200. Now, on average, we've been seeing uh, rents in these surrounding areas going up between $25 and $50 a month year over year. So you should expect those numbers to, to be more attractive and grow in time. But again, we assume that you never raise rents because we want to look at the worst case scenario. Anything else is just, uh, is just a bonus, right? And here's another option that we're looking at. This one's a 324 price point. Investment capital needed only 106000 And cash flowing $225-ish a month. Finding something right now new construction with, with home warranties and builder warranties and all of this that will return that kind of capital with only 100,000-ish down right now 
is nearly impossible. This is what we do all day long is, is search for investments. And the reason this investment performs like this and we're able to provide these kind of returns um, is due to that forward commitment that us and the lender have made with the builder, giving you that five and a quarter rate. Now, here's some pictures of what these look like on the inside. I have personally been in these homes. Uh, we were out a couple months ago when the first initial models were coming up and we walked these homes. And I personally was very impressed. Um, I walked through a lot of investment property and uh, the, the quality of the finishes and the construction in these homes for the price points that they're at is quite remarkable, right? To be putting in fireplaces, to have the higher ceilings, to have the bigger doors. Um, it's, it's, it's really good quality work and, and construction and craftsmanship. And, and I'll tell you, being from Southern California, walking through these homes and seeing what, you know, $350,000 can buy, um, in Tennessee was, um, it was pretty eye opening and very cool. You know, our, my, the lowest price point home in my neighborhood right now is a 406 square foot studio. Um, and that'll run you a half a million dollars with a $600 a month HOA, right? So these, these, it, these investments are just, they're so very solid, right? This is just a quick look at some of the financing options that we have available with CMG, right? Um, so these are some of the most popular right now. Um, a lot of investors are leaning towards the, the 10 year arms right now. Um, we all believe that in the next 10 years, at some point, interest rates are, are gonna, you know, normalize a little bit, right? And so allowing for the first 10 years to have really solid cash flow and then giving you the opportunity to refi out as, as rates relax a little bit um, has been working really well for investors. So these are kind of the more popular programs at the moment. I should also note that um, if you choose to refi in the first five years, it's completely free. So that's another cool bonus that CMG has provided our clients that we've negotiated in for you guys. If anyone has any questions on this and wants to dive deeper, please give me a call and I'll connect you with Reed over at CMG and we can really dive into, you know, what your personal debt to incomes look like, right? Uh, what your credit score looks like, what kind of rates can we build you personally? Because that's really the goal here. Every interaction and experience you have with a Marshall Reddick advisor is gonna be, you know, it's tailored to you. Um, so please feel free to reach out about that. Um, this is just a snapshot of our property management. Property management is really what allows this to work so well for our clients, right? A lot of you don't live in Clarksville or Nashville. A lot of you don't have the capacity with your lives, your families, your careers to be a property manager. So the fact that we, bring this service in really makes this work well. Again, the two things that hurt your return, vacancy and maintenance. Being that property management is all in-house here, we're able to have your property ready for rents um, pretty much the moment you get keys because we're starting the process weeks ahead of time. We're getting everything ready. We're making sure all your documentation's ready. We're making sure that your, your certificates of occupancy are coming in on time, all of that. Um, so this is just a brief look um, at what our services look like. And again, I would invite everyone here uh, to check out our reviews on Google and Zillow and Yelp and, and see what our clients are saying about our property management organization. Marshall Reddick um, is a really incredible educational resource uh, for the first time investor all the way up to if you're at door number 50. Um, on our website, you can click under the education tab. And we have thousands of hours of recorded um, education, tens of thousands of written pages and documents, all produced by us. We don't copy and paste from anywhere else. Um, we like to say that you can pretty much get an MBA in real estate investing for free on our website. And that's how our company has always led to market. We lead with the best education we can for absolutely free. And we create market data packets on all of our markets. Um, we are very data heavy. We are real estate investing nerds. And so if you are really into analysis and data um, and things of that nature on our different markets, 
please visit our website here and you can download these and you can really, really dig in for yourself. We update these every year. And so I just want to, as we get towards the end here, I give you an idea of what it looks like to work with an advisor, which is what I do here. I'm an advisor here at Marshall Reddick. So the very first step is we have this seminar, right? We're giving a high level of the different markets we invest in and a high level of, of how our service works. After these seminars, you're going to be receiving a, re a recorded copy of this, and then I'm going to be following up with you, right? And, and what we'd like to do is, is offer a free consultation. And in that consultation, this is the lifeline, right? This is our circle. We're going to start with your why, your goal setting. Some people might be planning for their children's education. Some people might be planning for retirement. Some people might have a dream car that they want to get at 50 right? Whatever it may be. Some people might be retiring and they need to find a way to offset the loss of their W-2 income. We need to figure out what you guys are trying to accomplish and then we can evaluate your options. How do we do this? Like I said, we have um, our brokerage side where we buy and sell real estate. We have our private equity side where we help fund loans or our, our, our fund where you can put your money together with other clients of ours and fund loans. There are a number of ways to create returns with real estate investing, right? And once we understand what you're trying to accomplish, we can evaluate the options at hand and personally tailor a strategy for you to help you accomplish those goals. We then need to talk about time frame, right? Again, some people are looking for um, something in the next five years. Some people have 10 year goal, 15 year, 20 year goal, whatever it may be. We need to understand what that time frame is so that we can work the investments and massage them to return how you guys need them to return. Then we're gonna talk about criteria, okay? Uh, we've decided after looking at your goals that investing in hard real estate and a property uh, is the way to go. Okay, well, depending on what kind of returns you want and, and the velocity of those returns, uh, maybe we look at multifamily, maybe we look at new construction, maybe we're looking at a flip opportunity, whatever it may be. We're gonna set the criteria that works for you so that we can then start identifying the markets where all this can come together. Tennessee returns differently than Texas, returns differently than Florida. They all have different tax rates, insurance rates, um, all this kind of stuff, right? Once we know what you're trying to accomplish, how we're going to do it in your time frame, we start identifying the markets in which this can become a reality. And then the key to this process is the ability to introduce you to the key players, AKA agents like Tina and Natasha who have boots on the ground in the markets that we're looking to invest in. Again, you guys saw our national uh, footprints and you can see the markets where we have agents and property management and maintenance managers and all that. Um, and the ability to be able to have boots on the ground, people who were born and raised in areas that we're looking to invest in is, is absolutely key. Um, I can't tell you how many calls I've gotten for people calling in for our property management services. And it would say they live in California and they found a house on Zillow and they called that agent. And that agent was like, this will be the best investment you've ever made. And then they buy it. And uh, of course, there's always issues. But then it turns out it's in an unsafe area or a rent controlled area or an area with incredibly high tax rates, whatever it may be. Um, having boots on the ground allows us to identify not just the right investments, but the wrong investments as well. And so this is what it looks like to work with an advisor like me. Uh, think of me as like the quarterback to the team. And I really do uh, look forward to speaking with everybody after this call. I know a lot of us have already spoke already. A number of us have worked together in the past. Um, but for everyone that we haven't had a chance to, to speak with yet, um, I really do look forward to it. And again, I appreciate your time. And so the first step uh, to that is to schedule your consultation with me. Um, here's my contact information at the number. This is my direct phone number. If you call that number, text that number, FaceTime that number, you're going to get me. Um, I am available until 9 p.m. PST, seven days a week. So please feel free to reach out at any time. I'd be happy to help you. And again, I'll be reaching out to everybody after this call. All right, everybody, we appreciate you. I'm gonna open this up real quick and see if we had any questions. You guys can probably see my desktop right now. Let's see here. 
we have okay we've got a couple okay um guys here's a question that we have between nashville and clarksville where do you prefer to invest for something that's say a longer term investment and why between nashville and clarksville for long term i feel for me it would be clarksville yeah, only because of the military post um fort campbell is here in clarksville and they're the second biggest army base in the united states yep. so you have soldiers coming in and out of here many times of the year i, I think clarksville for me yeah for, for me, sure i agree um because we have uh, leases that we do that we have people lined up as soon as the person the current tenant is before they move out <laughs> yeah uh, and we the leasing here i mean we have multiple applications on one property yes. at a time and we're always able to move an applicant that's approved to another property if they lose out on that one that they want it. And you know they're here. They're they're here for a while. And for they years. have to be here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that would be our answer for that one. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then we have one more. And and what you guys just said actually ties into this perfectly. So um, you guys had mentioned the velocity of the rental market is quite high. Um, there's high demand. And, and often um, these rentals are not lasting very long. When it comes to purchasing physical property, um, are you guys seeing the same um, as that? How's the, the heat, what's the demand like uh, for purchasing property in Clarksville and Nashville right now? Um, the markets, both of them actually doing very well. Very well. Um, I won't say it's like a multiple offer situation, um, but it, once a property is listed, it doesn't last long. I, I give it what yours. You just had a listing. How quickly did yours go? Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Um, and the offers are coming in strong. Yeah. I'll say that. Um, sellers are offering a lot more right now. Um, but and you probably could have done a little better, but your people were moving out of town. They were moving, so, so they, they needed, needed to sell. sell. Yep. So they were at the right spot and price and area in town close to the post. Um, so actually a military family bought that one. And like I said, two weeks. Yep. Yeah. So it's it's hot, but it's not where you're fighting yeah. for a property. It's very comfortable. Because there's inventory coming in, new construction. Um, there, there's options. Yes. Absolutely. Got it. Got it. Thank you, guys. And, you know, that's that's really good to hear. You know, um, over the past few years, there has been some buyer hesitation uh, because of the, the rate increases and things of that nature. And we are really seeing a lot of buyers starting to accept these rates. I know that pre-qualification numbers are up, so more people are starting to get into the fold. Um, and, you know, we forecast a, a hot summer. So it's nice to see that Right now, there's still a lot of good options for the investors. Um, thank you guys so much for answering that. Um, and thank you everyone uh, on the call for coming this evening. We, we appreciate your time. Uh, we hope that you learned a lot. Uh, and we look forward to speaking with all of you soon. Have a wonderful night. Tina and Natasha, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. <laughs>